Hello and uh, welcome to Chile. It's winter already and I'm here near Longkimai. Picada es con carnes. No, no, las picadas es donde los lugares donde tú vas a comer y la gente muy tradicional va a comer ahí. Vamos a la picada y vamos a comer una pichanga. ¿Y la pichanga qué es? La pichanga, bueno, papas fritas, ya, trae carne. Aquí tengo carne Todo de vacuno. Carnes. Carne de vacuno, carne de pollo y salchichas. Trae tomate, uh -huh. palta, eh, aceitunas y pepinillos, tomate, o sea, huevos ¿Puedes? y queso. ¿Y cuál es su instrumento favorito que se encuentra en la cocina? El cuchillo. Muchas gracias por haber comido y muchas gracias por tenerme aquí. Gracias a ti por ser parte de tu historia. Sí, bacán. Yo le conté a mi amigo que había conocido a un cabrón que está bien mal de la cabeza. Sí, mal, así. Y anda, está disfrut loco. Que anda disfrutando de la vida en bicicleta, conociendo. here getting ready to head out um, it's a bit of snow which is okay but in two days or three days there's gonna be a big snowstorm so we're gonna see how that works um, in worst case I might need to go on bigger roads uh, but for now I can survive I think Hundred thousand miles of lonely track holding back tomorrow. Someday I'll hop along and ride it home. But old ties ain't can pay. We never leave alone. So old man, give me endless time. Never let these ties sever Cause heaven knows and all this fooling around These times won't last forever after all That's my poncho, also doubles up as a ground sheet, I think, which is very, very nice.
so I can't really put on my shoes. <laughs> so I might have to do this bare feet. Well, <laughs> um, if you think that you can't ruin a derailleur pushing your bike through the snow, is it even stuck there? Oh, that's why. Okay, well, I don't think it matters that I don't have a derailleur right now. <laughs> anyway. That didn't work out, uh, but I'm at this point that going forward would be easier than going back anyway. Plus, it's all downhill. I don't even have a coffee cup big enough to make this okay. Like, look at this, I'm stuck. So, I think, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, interesting. So, I think the rule of bike packing is that if you can't find your bike, you probably shouldn't be riding a bike. And drop me high to the depth below For the things I've seen, no one else should know What speak you of a love so bold no song can sing and no word will hold I want you now of an end foretold A lifelong wait for the death parole So fly low, you carry and crow
this rock. Oh man. Hola. Hola. Are you okay, cat? Are you okay? Hello. So we've got a little fire going, it's really warm. My cat friend is over there. Hey buddy, how are you doing? What do you want? This little cabin that I took refuge at has this cat, this resident cat. And he's pretty cute and fluffy and used to humans and he wants pets. Um, but I'm not sure if I can take him right now with me. Um, wonder why he's been left here, right buddy, in the middle of nowhere. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. ¿Tú trabajas o vives por acá? Ah, ¿de quién es esta cabaña acá? Para los trabajadores, ¿no? Ah, ok. Hola. Me llamo Johan. Gastón. Mucho gusto. Uh, pero mu mucha, mucha nieve. Sí. Y más por abajo, ¿dónde está transitable? Serán 3, 4 kilómetros más abajo, más o menos. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué tienes más arriba? El camión. El camión, del. El que está en la cabaña. Ah, esto acá. Sí. Ah, entonces vas a salir. Sí. ¿Y el gato en la cabaña? <risa> del dueño, pero quedó más abajo. Sí, pero tú vas a llevar el gato. No. Ah, ¿por qué? Bueno, no tengo, no tiene comida el gato, pero creo que que caza aves. ¿Por qué entra aves en la cabaña y el caza aves o ratones? No sé. Sí, yo creo que. Bueno, ha pasado otro invierno ya, ahí parece. Ay, ¿y pasó to sí. todo invierno en la sí. cabaña? Sí. Ah, vale. Entonces, ¿tú me, ¿tú me pasas en la bajada, yo creo? Porque yo es, creo que sí. estoy sí, lento. Yo, yo vuelvo con los caballos, sí. Ah, ya. Ahí lo estamos viendo. Suerte. Me faltaron cadenas. Uy, no cadena, un, un moto de nieve. Sí. Un chaguino. Uh, ok, tío. un tacito. Se va a acompañar para arriba porque... Ahí nosotros. se quedó los días aquí. Sí, dos días. ¿Y cómo es? Ay, gracias. ¿Cómo ¿Neva fue? harto la noche? ¿Cómo? ¿Neva harto la noche? Más lluvia. Más lluvia. Yo no, ahora... ¿De qué país? Estoy nacido en Bulgaria, pero vivo en Canadá algún tiempo. ¿Todo, y los... ¿Todo el año venir para acá? Eh, ahora desde febrero. ¿Plantaban árboles en Canadá? Sí. ¿Qué, qué árboles? Por ejemplo, ahora que hacemos cuatro o cinco especies. ¿Ya? Cada, cada parte depende. Si es más alto, utilizamos algunos. Sí, dependiendo de la Y ejemplo. diferente porcentaje todavía. Ya, ya. Sí. Oh, es la wea. Duro, ¿no? Duro. Y una bolsa 2.500 hoy. <risa> Donde se junta, ¿sí? Claro, es justo sí. en la parte del... <risa> no quiere, ahí cagó. Sí. Ahí, ahí eh. listo. Ahí murió. <risa> I mean, we've been on 
cold time, but we're on a road that's without snow. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Buen día. Uh, bien, bien. Muy lindo el día, ¿no? Uh. Sí. Uh. Pero lo malo está mojado, mojado. Adelante, adelante. Oh. ¿Cómo le va? Me llamo Johan. Pase, pase. Sáquete tu, lo mojado. Sí, lo mojado acá. Está súper mojado. Caldito con, con papita, carne. Sí, sí. ¿Le sirve? Uh -huh. Un poco. Yo tengo acá mi arroz también. Pero, pero sabe que esto le va a gustar porque le va a calentar el cuerpo. Ah, sí, también. Porque es más contundente. No, el arroz es muy seco para... Puedes abrirlo. Es muy Pero seco para... para abrir. 
Okay. Eso, eso es calientico. Yo lo he hecho en la mañana. Sí, sí. No, no, pero tranquilo, sí, sí. Aquí estamos. Dos. Y dos peros. El blanco y el negro ya me sigue, sigue desde Laguna Colico. Cerca no de son, Cunco. No son suyos. No, me sigo. Yo dice sale, sale y ellos me sigan. <risa> yo pensaba, son botados o algo porque son buscando casa. Claro. Ah, no, son suyos los perritos, mire. No, ah. no, pero ese lo podía dejar yo aquí en el blanquito. Porque está harto flaco. Sí. El chico ya come. Come, come, come. Uf. Y él no sé cómo, qué come él. <risa> pero, come, come, come. Hey. Claro, lo, lo adaptó como, como el amo. Come, come, come. Ya está comiendo, uh, qué bien. <risa> Pásate, no, no quiero, ya he comido en algo, ya no. Ya. Ya no muero. Pero voy a esperar un rato porque está muy calor ahora. Muchas gracias. Le hace bien un pato de cazuela porque... Hola amigo. Solo entro tres. No hay por acá. ¿Qué falta algunos? Sí, faltan dos, pero bien está fuera. Como que voy camino a Chucha. No. <risa> Yo no llegaría ni a ni otra parte, no. Me imagina. No va a ir a la silla para allá. Vamos a ver. Ahí. Y ahora algún... Ahí, no, si no se le atreve. Y creo que el chico va a seguirme. O si no, ya tienes pero tercero. <risa> So he wanted to adopt the big dog, but the big dog, he doesn't want to be adopted. He just run away. So I guess he's coming with me for a little while until we figure what to do with this guy. And the good thing about dogs is that they're fluent in English and in Spanish and in whichever language you choose to talk to them.
don't know why So somebody wrote to me on email to come and visit them here near Pukon. This looks like a pretty shady place to be going in the evening. <laughs> That's one of these Chilean volcanoes as we have so many of. Hey, how are you? Huh? Hello. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Good, good. I am. Yeah, well, good, today was a nice day. Cup. Huh? Good coming cup. Yeah, it's good yeah. for the sun, for the rain. Uh huh. Too much rain. Yeah, the last few days it was terrible. Okay, we talk. Okay. Close the gate? Sure. Hey, dog. Make friends, okay? Be nice. Not gonna lie, that dog is so much faster than me at setting up camp, it's not even funny. Like he's already set up for the night and I'm, I haven't even put my tent poles together, right buddy? He can just barely see the peaks right behind this and it looks pretty awesome. Uh, so we'll see tomorrow if the weather improves. doing how are you doing big baby
leaves wrapped in rain Warm blood runs through my weather veins And I'm down on the highway Under a murmuration of airplanes And the light in your eyes is a part of the sky We only bury watches and wallets So low and behold We're all just silhouettes bad news and the bad news is that I must have the tent must have fallen off somewhere man are you serious so totally got my ass kicked today and the good news is I'm traveling lighter now and the bad news, my tent body kind of fell off, so I just set up with the fly and the poles. Yeah, it's just not winter travel. It's like, you know, it's way too wet, way too wet to be doing this. Um, I think those uh, three pieces of broken sled are very symbolic of my winter plans here in Chile. Like, everything has been a disaster. I was like, dude, I got snowshoes, I got new gloves, I was gonna go do this hike, and then ends up being like the movie The Rever Reverend, where, you know, I'm almost dying the whole time. Um, but we are gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see how today goes, and if it goes good, I think I can make it to the other side.
Hey Shadow, 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 my friend, how are you? Shadow, good morning. So I think this dog, my friend Shadow, is not very smart. He could have stayed with Hugo up up at the pass, at the Regulil pass, and you know, eating good food, watched over the cows. So everything's kind of wet. I busted out the emergency blanket just to keep things drier. Um, tomorrow and the day after I'm definitely gonna have to sleep in the blanket because this, this sleeping bag is quite wet and I don't think there's gonna be any sun to dry it out. Look at that dog. Dog, give me space. Go outside. Go this way. Go, 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 go in the snow. Go. Run, run free, run free. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dog is out. The dog is out. Woo! God, Papa. Woo! We escaped. We escaped, man. Holy crap, dude! Pretty much what I see, <clears throat> which is nothing. I can see the way back, but I can't see anything forward. It's really bad because there's
So thank you very much for watching. I'm so fortunate to be here near Pucon. Um, Ricardo, my friend that I'm staying with, he has an extra cabin with firewood and a fire. And like this thing right here, I'm not kidding you, this is boiling hot water so I can have like a scalding hot bathtub if you want, if I want. Uh, I haven't though. Um, my fingers are okay, I still have one toe that is kind of tingling. Um, I want to say thank you for all my patrons for making this possible and you know some of you have been supporting me for over three years now and that's really awesome. Uh, so I'm sitting here trying to get stuff dry and watching the rain. Now it kind of stopped so that's good. And I also know that my winter plans in Chile did not work out as well as they could have. Um, but I think from here on now there's only one way to go and it's gonna be somewhere a little drier, a little windier and maybe colder but it would not be as rainy as here. <laughs>